Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, download the most recent version of Magic Lantern from the internet and then how to install it on your camera. Okay, so the f um, first thing to do is you've got to check the operating system on your camera, the firmware as it's called, and um, just to note, when you're in the video mode as I am now, you can't check the firmware. I'll just show you that. If you go into the menu, and if you scroll through all the options, all the way along to where the settings one are at the, at the end there, it kind of looks like a spanner. There is no option there for firmware. So what you've got to do is turn to any one of the photographic modes. So I'll turn to um, manual mode now, for example. And if I go into the menu options here, and if I scroll right to the uh, second end option there, which is the spanner one, the settings one, you can see one of the options right down the bottom is firmware and it tells you the version. This is the up-to-date version 102. I think that's, uh, well, that's for, certainly for this year, any cameras from this year. Previous version 101. If you have that on your camera and you have a camera from uh, before this year, um, you will need to upgrade to firmware version 102 and I'll show you that in a different video. But for now I'm assuming you've got firmware version 102, which is the most recent one on your camera. And with that, you can now install the most recent version of Magic Lantern. Okay, the next thing you've got to do, um, assuming you've got the right firmware, is to format, uh, format your card. So make sure, make sure your, your memory sticks. So make sure your, uh, any information is, uh, any files you want are transferred from that to your PC. So to format your card, you can actually be in the video mode or any of the photographic modes, it doesn't matter. I'm going to stay in the uh, manual mode for now, but the option is the same as in, in the video mode. And if you just click along there, you'll see one of the options there under the settings is format. I, um, I'll, just select, I'll just select that. And you basically don't want to cancel, you want to say OK to that because you're going to format the card and leave it as a low level format, that's fine. And just press the set button. So your card's now formatted and you should do a format on the camera rather than on your, uh, on your PC or laptop. So the next thing we're going to do is to, to have done that, we're just going to take the card out of the uh, camera and put that in the um, laptop or PC. Okay, so to download the most up-to-date version of Magic Lantern, um, you need to go to the Magic Lantern download, download page. I'll put the address in the notes to the video. But uh, see there, magiclantern.fm forward slash download. And when you go there, um, you'll actually see at the top, it's got current stable release version 2.3. That's as the date now, which is the 1st of um, August. 2012. Um, there is the old version you can still use if you have, um, if you want to use it. Um, as of last Christmas, you can download that straight away. This version 2.3, which is the new one, has got some extra features in it, etc. And if you click there, you can read release notes about it. Uh, it gives you various information about it, new and improved features, uh, shortcut keys, customizable menu. HDR bracketing, etc. Plus, um, they've already got a time lapse tool in the old one and just made it slightly better. Advanced ISO control, saturation adjustments, and contrast in live view, etc. So, there's a, there's a few new things there. Now, this just been released, as I say, the last uh, week or so. And if you want to download it, um, they'll ask you to make a donation at the moment. You can, you can only download it if you do make a, a donation. If you wait about another three weeks, they say on the website here, they'll be giving it away without, you know, without requirement for a donation. Though obviously, um, because they put a lot of work into it, perhaps there is a, you would, you would, uh, you know, would be advised to give a donation. I think I gave a 10 euro myself, which is, I think, well worth it. 
um, you can see there. So to get this version, you've actually got to pay something, basically. If you wait another three weeks, the bottom line is you can get it for free if you want to, although even then you should probably could make a donation because, um, again, these guys are doing this work, which is very, very useful, and I think it's very good value. Anyway, enough of that. Um, so if you're prepared to make a donation now to download the new version right now, or if you want to do this after you've waited three weeks, what you basically do is you go to download at the moment. I have paid a donation, so I've installed it on mine already. You put your username and password in there, you become basically a supporter of them, and register an account with them, and then they'll send you at the moment a link to Magic Lantern, which you can then uh, download. So we'll look at uh, downloading that now, assuming you've gone through this, from the link in the email I've received. So having downloaded Magic Lantern, what you're going to do now is extract the files onto your SD card, and uh, which is put into my uh, SD socket on my laptop. So extract files here, and I'm going to put them onto the drive where my SD card is in. It's called AS Digital, and that's the K drive here. It's going to be in the root of the file, so just uh, of the of the folder or the directory. So don't create a subfolder, and just click on OK there. And it extracts all the files onto the SD card automatically. Don't worry, there's lots of other files from different cameras. Um, that's uh, not important. So that's now um, inserted or installed on the uh, SD card. OK, so having installed uh, Magic Lantern on the SD card, I'm going to put it back in the camera now. And we've got one more job to do once it goes in. What we're going to do is now upgrade the firmware to the Magic Lantern version. So we're going to go into the menu option and basically go along again in manual in manual setting to the firmware where it says firmware version. We saw that before. I'm going to click on set there and I'm going to click on, I'm going to actually update it to the Magic Lantern version from the SD card and I'm going to not select cancel but select OK. And once it does that, it loads that program. This takes a second. And you see the Magic Lantern install it says it's been successfully installed. If it doesn't, it'll tell you at this uh, this stage and um, you will probably need to check your version of the firmware on, this, on the camera. So anyway, so that's fine, that's working. So now we've just got to shut down the camera, I'll switch it off there and switch it on again. And Magic Lantern is now installed and if I click the trash button there in the bottom you can see there Magic Lantern now comes up on the screen. So it's actually installed on the, um, as a, makes the SD card a bootable Magic Lantern disk uh, uh, SD card. If you take it out and install, um, put in another SD card with no Magic Lantern on it, the camera won't have Magic Lantern on it either. So it's not actually installed on the camera, it's installed on the card and each time you use a card a new card if you want Magic Lantern to work on it, you just need to install Magic Lantern on it. It gets easier as you do it more often, and if you have a few cards, you may as well install them maybe all at once on them. So that's the um, Magic uh, Lantern install. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that useful.